I'll be showing you step-by-step step how to add estimated delivery dates to your product page. So make sure you stay until the end of the video here. So to add these estimated delivery dates, we're gonna be using a Shopify app as that's gonna take a lot of the calculations out of our hands and make it super automated. The app we'll be using is called Estimated Delivery Date Plus and it has a generous free plan here. We get global settings, product setting support for 100 products, and we get one holiday quota. I'll leave a link for this in the description below, but once you hit the installation page here, just click install, and then we'll go through the installation sequence. If you're comfortable with the permissions, click install. So now we're at the setup screen. The first thing it's saying we need to do is activate app extensions. I'm gonna click on this alert on top. It's opened up the app embed section of my currently installed Shopify theme. You could also get here by going to app embeds on the left-hand side and then just searching for EDD. I'll hit save in the top right to activate this and back to the previous tab. Next, I'll click enable. I can see this has now been checked off as it's been defined as an app theme extension and it is now enabled. So if I scroll down, I can see more information on my widget. So this is the preview here. On the left-hand side, we have all of the text we can set up. So the stuff in curly brackets are predefined variables. They have explanations for each of them here below, such as the minimum date, the ready minimum date, cutoff time, country name. And so you wanna customize these to match your estimated delivery date for your Shopify store. By default, it's gonna say free shipping to I'm gonna add an emoji, insert the country name. And if you order within the cutoff time for dispatch today, you'll receive your package between the minimum date and the maximum date. So those are the custom variables. You'll wanna check your actual delivery dates so you can set that up correctly. Next step at the bottom, we have the progress bar widget. And this is just going to explain the different sets of dates here from when you order to when the order is ready to when it should be delivered. And we can customize the text here for under order ready. We can disable this if we don't want it. And then on order delivered, we can set the title and the estimated date range. Next up, let's go and customize our settings as you wanna set a date range setting for when you're working and actually shipping out products as you don't want that included in the calculation. By default, it's gonna be Monday to Friday. Next up, we have the date range, date formatting, and the countdown setting. So quite a few different customization. And again, it's really just going to depend on your actual delivery dates. You should just wanna set that up to match what your store is actually doing. Next up, we have appearance. So we can set our widget layout mode, whether we just want the progress bar, we can do the message text and progress bar, which is what I'm gonna leave here as it's gonna show the most information. Next up, we have our widget placement method. So we can do this automatically. We can also select theme 2.0, which is recommended. I'll select that there, and then we can go and add it to our product page. And I only want this on the product pages, and we also get some customization around the margins, the coloring, and so on. But for now, I'll just leave these all as a default as it's really just going to depend on your Shopify store theme and how you want this to look. I'll hit save in the top right here. Now I'm going to open up my online store here. I'm gonna to go to customize under my theme and I'm gonna to head to the product page and I'm gonna to go to the default product on top here. And what I wanna do is now add this to my product page. I'm gonna add this below the buy button. So I'll head to add block. And I wanna to head to apps instead of the default blocks. And at the top here, I have estimated delivery date as that's my most recently installed app and enabled here. So I'll click on this and this will add my block to my product page. Now to finalize these changes, all I have to do is hit save in the top right. So let's head back to my dashboard and I'm gonna click on the preview button here and let's go and see how this looks on my actual store. So I'll click on this outdoor camping bag product. And if I scroll down here, there is my estimated delivery date that I set up. So if I order within the next 12 hours, 32 minutes and 14 seconds for dispatch today, I'm gonna receive my package between July 30th and August 13th. And and using this widget really helps to answer a key question that customers have. When will I receive my product? And this helps get that information across quite effectively in an easy to understand manner. And the customer doesn't have to go and search around your store to see the estimated shipping times. If you've made any sales on Shopify, you know how hard it is to keep track of how much profit your store has actually made. You have your cost of goods sold, your transaction fees, your ad spend, your chargeback, and your taxes. It's a lot of things to keep track of, and that's where our sponsor Profit Calc comes in. It's a one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. In one setup, all you have to do is select the date range you wanna see calculations for, and you're gonna get real-time calculations all displayed in an easy to understand dashboard. You can see all your ad spend from Facebook, Google, Snapchat, Bing, Pinterest, and TikTok. It's gonna integrate with quite a few cost of goods sold options, and it's gonna allow you to make smarter business decisions as you have a true understanding 
understanding of your store's performance. There's a 15 day free trial so you can test drive everything for yourself and you can find it in the Shopify app store by searching for profit calc and then looking for this logo in the top left. I'll also leave a link in the description below to access the Shopify app listing directly. Make sure you check that out so you can start truly understanding your store's financial performance. So this is going to conclude the video here on how to set up estimated delivery dates on your product pages. I'll leave a link in the description below to the app listing for this. If you enjoyed the video, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.